from the acclaimed director of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, who really should have moved on by now, and the money-grubbing studio who's continuing the awful trend of splitting one short book into multiple unnecessary movies, comes the first installment of a trilogy that should really only have one installment, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Forget the days of good standalone movies and settle in for a three hour long prologue for a sequel that looks far more interesting, but also just as unnecessary. Shot on location in some of New Zealand's most beautiful green screen studios and filmed in such high definition, it made audiences want to hurl. Return to Middle Earth and stay there way too long for a story that takes over 40 minutes to even get started. And watch as a movie tries its damnedest to trick you into thinking it's the Lord of the Rings, but isn't. Featuring another fellowship, another spooky mountain, another eagle rescue, the ring, New Zealand, Gollum, and these Lord of the Rings characters that weren't even in the book. But instead of saving the entire world from evil, this time they're saving one city from smog. 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 Whatever. Meet 13 interchangeable dwarves. Thorin. Borin. Doran. Dora. Uh, Brombor? Nosy. Uh, pass. Skip. Next. Ugh. Oh, oh, look, Gandalf. Together, they'll team up with a random unprepared hobbit who steals from the mentally handicapped for yet another Middle-earth adventure full of even more walking. And singing. The pines were roaring on the height. Or get the extended edition to see even more singing and wandering around. <coughs> oh, sorry. Dozed off for a second there. Man, I can't believe there's gonna be two more of these. Prepare for a new movie trilogy, adapted from a 300-page book that'll ultimately be just as long as the last trilogy, which was adapted from three 400-page books, and experience a movie that has a three-hour runtime, but so little story, you can basically sum it up like this. Dragon. Run! Call it the Lonely Mountain. So instead of Return of the King's eight different endings, watch a movie that doesn't even have one. But you won't even mind, since it means you can finally go home and watch Game of Thrones. I do believe the worst is behind us. You said it, buddy. Starring Dildo Daggins, your parents' favorite band, Bird Face, Mama June, Honey Boo Boo, Hobos, Not Viggo Mortensen, those rock people from He-Man, Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire, God of War, Galargamel, and Straight Dumbledore. The Hobbit, a totally expected letdown. Look, I know there's a dragon there and everything, but couldn't the eagles have dropped them off a little bit closer to the mountain? <laughs> Lazy birds. For more awesome stuff, be sure to click our precious subscribe button. Screw you guys, I'm going home. That really rustled my jimmies. Donkey boner. I'm looking at you through the window. Such honest mini trailer, wow.